everyone! So today I have my Pan Lip Palette update for you guys. Super exciting video, I know. Um, so I'm going to update you guys on my Lorac Pro, the Tarte single that I added last month um, because I ran out of cream and white. And then I also am adding another palette to the mix. So we'll just start with the Lorac Pro and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to insert a picture of where I was at the beginning of the month so you guys can see the you know change. So I'll do that now. Alright, so that was where I was at after four months, and now I'm done with five months, which is just like crazy. So this is where I'm at after five months of using my Lorac Pro pretty exclusively. I've only added in a couple shadows here and there. So this is where I'm at. So a lot of pan showing. Um, my goals for April were to finish Champagne, which I did down here, so that one's gone. I wanted to hit pan on Deep Purple, which I did, as you can see there. And then I also wanted to finish up Mauve, which didn't quite happen, but there is a lot of pan showing and it's pretty thin. So really happy with what happened this month and where I'm at. So I'm just quickly going to go through each shadow and how I've been using it. And then we'll talk about my goals and everything for May. So first, though, I want to show you my Tarte Single. I have it here in a little Z palette. So this is the Tarte Single I'm working on. It's just a matte cream shade. I haven't hit pan, but I am focusing my attention up here at the top. So hopefully I'll have pan maybe next time. I'm not going to, like, focus on it, like, more than I normally would. It is a lot more pigmented than the Lorac shadows, so I don't need as much of it, I've found. So there's that. So that has been like the first base kind of a color I use and I also use it to blend out my crease if it gets a little bit too dark or anything like that. So for the Lorac Pro, um, I've been using taupe as my contour still. I really like it. I think it's a great color for me anyway. Light pink I've been using all over the lid sometimes. I use it on the inside of my eyes. I've also used it on my blush if my blush gets a little bit too dark. Mauve I've used as my crease or like transition shade. I've also used it as a blush. That's what I have on today as a blush. And I think it's a really pretty and flattering color for me. It's just kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's not too bold. It's not too dark. It's just a really nice everyday color. So I really like that. Sable has more pan showing and this is what I use just on the top of my crease to really deepen it up and everything like that. Espresso I just started to use again to set my liner. Um, so that one I'm still working on and then I haven't used black. I haven't used slate since I hit pan on it and then deep purple I was using well I still am using a plum liner. It's it's basically this color um, but right now I'm setting it with the uh, brown shade but I was setting it with this deep purple and I really liked that. Garnet is a huge pan spot. I did not think it was going to grow that much. I'm really happy with it because this is one shade that I think is really pretty, but it's almost too dark for my eyes. So I use this on the outer third of my lid. I have it out there today. Um, so when I was using up champagne, I would put this on the outer third and champagne over the rest of my lid and kind of blend those two together. And that was like my go-to look to finish up champagne. Pewter I haven't used. Um, that one I'm going to use later, I guess. Light bronze I've only used a couple of times. I'm trying to save that shade as well. And then gold I've been using a lot more now, so the pan has spread a little bit. And nude I've been using as well. I've been using this one on the inside of my eyes, like the tear duct, and I've also been layering it with um, gold and garnet. So that's kind of what I've been doing. My look today is kind of the look that I think I'll be sticking with for a while. So I have the cream shade all over my lid. That's also my brow bone highlight. I have mauve in the crease, sable in the crease as well. Um, I have garnet on the outer third, gold all over the lid, and then I have nude over the lid as well and nude in the inner corner. And then I also have garnet on my lower lash line, which really makes my blue eyes pop. So I really like that. So that's where I'm at with this palette. I am so blown away. I can't believe I made this much progress. It's really like cool to see, you know? So yeah, that is where I'm at. And my goals for May, I would like to hit pan on nude. There is a little bit of a dip in it, um, and it's a pretty soft shadow. So I think this one I can definitely hit pan on, especially if I'm layering it and using it in my inner corner and everything like that. Gold, I don't think I can finish gold this month, but I would like to see like this corner gone and you know, just more progress on that one. So that's a goal of mine. 
I want to finish up mauve since it didn't happen this month. Um, I will keep using it as blush if I want or just in my crease. And then I also would like to hit pan on espresso. So those are the goals for May. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. I think everything is doable. Um, so as long as I keep using this palette, I'll be happy. I seriously just am so blown away. I have three shadows down and I have pan on nine of them, which is just insane. So there's only four shadows left I haven't hit pan on. Maybe I'll hit pan on the cream shade. I don't really know. It's not a big deal or not. Um, one thing I wish I would have done at the beginning is I know that... So in here there is 8.8 .8 grams total product. And I wish that I would have been weighing it this whole time um, to see how much product I'm using every month. So I did weigh this. Um, and the whole thing including, you know, I can't just take out the shadows and weigh them, you know. So the whole thing weighs 122 grams as of today. I just used my um, food scale to weigh that out. And then my Tarte Cream Shadow weighs exactly 3 grams. So I would like to, you know, in a month just re-weigh them and see how much product I, I'm using. I just think that would be kind of interesting. And maybe I'll just keep tracking that to see, you know, how much eyeshadow product am I actually using every month. So anyway... Those are the goals for the Lorac Pro, and like I said, I am adding in a new palette. This one is a cheek palette. So this is my NARS Guy Bourdain um, cheek palette. This was from the holiday season two Christmases ago, so what was that, 2013? Um, and it's a really beautiful palette. It has a bronzer, a highlighter, and then four blushes. So this is the product I'm going to be working on as well. I will probably keep using Mauve a little bit longer um, to really like kind of clear that one out for my blush. But I could also, you know, mix it with some of these colors, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be working on this one. This one I don't really have like a time frame to finish up or anything like that. I do have the NARS Laguna in a single that I'm working on right now, so I want to finish that one up first. And then I also have a bronzer that's going to be in my Project 20 pan this summer. Um, so I might wait to use this bronzer later, like in the fall when I start to get more pale again or anything like that. So we'll just kind of see on that one. The highlighter I plan to use every day, I guess, um, that I want to wear highlighter. This will just be the one highlighter I use. And then these four blushes I just want to, you know, use and everything like that. So each of these are four grams of product. Roughly, I mean, I have used them a little bit, but they're, you know, there's not like dips or anything like that in them. So I'm just excited to try to work on this. Um, I will have updates every, you know, time when I do pan that palette, I'll include this. And this one I weighed as well. So this whole thing weighs 191 grams. So in a month when I film my next pan that palette update video, I'll reweigh these both and see how much product I've used up. I just think that would be really interesting to see. So anyway... That is my Pan That Palette update. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are doing a Pan That Palette, let me know. I'd love to see it. Um, and yeah, that's everything I have. So hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.